Did you hear that your middle brother was arrested last night? Yes, I did. It's ridiculous. He isn't a bad kid. This has to be a big misunderstanding. He was arrested for theft and possession of controlled substances. Your brother would never steal. And he isn't some Dr. Zerogi. He smokes a little weed. That shouldn't be a jail able offense. He's stolen from me plenty of times, and you can tell that it isn't just weed. He's clearly on something. That's so different. He's your brother. If he fell on hard times, he should be able to come to his family for help. Mom, he's a thief and a Dr. Zero Grams user. I hate that's the truth, but he is. I'm not going to help you bail him out. I'm sorry. Your oldest brother is engaged. I told him not to propose to that woman. She isn't good enough for him. I told him that he was going to regret this and he won't listen to me. They love each other. She seems like a great person. If they're happy, why does it matter? He won't be happy with her. He's making a mistake and he's too blinded to see it. He doesn't need to marry her just because they've been dating for a while. They are happy. If they weren't happy, he wouldn't have proposed. You thought you were happy too, and look how wrong you were. I don't know why I even talked to you about this. You clearly don't know anything about a good match. Okay, mom, I'll talk to you later. Don't ignore me when I need you. This is a disaster. I need you to come pick me up. I'm in no shape to drive. I'm a wreck. I can grab you on my way to the venue. Or maybe I shouldn't go. This is too much for my heart. I am so upset and broken that he's really going through with this. Okay, just let me know if I'm picking you up or not. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with my children? How do none of you care about your own mother? I am hurting and you only care if I need a ride? It's going to be a great day. We should all be happy for oldest. He isn't going to be happy. He is going to regret this day more than anything else in his entire life. I need to talk to him again before he goes through with this. Maybe he is having second thoughts finally and needs someone to talk to. Where are you? You ran out right after the vows and no one has seen you. Don't worry about me. I called a ride to drive me to the hospital. I feel like my throat is closing up and I can't breathe. Don't tell your brother. I don't want to ruin his day. He doesn't need to leave his wife on their wedding night to sit by my bedside. Okay, I won't say anything until tomorrow. I'll just sit here all alone. I probably won't be able to talk soon anyways. I think they're going to put me on a ventilator. It's bad, Rachel. I wish I had one of my children with me, but apparently I must have been such a bad mother that two of them don't love me and one is locked up. Maybe this is my punishment for being so terrible. Hey, so what's going on? I got your message saying they are rushing you back for surgery. Doctor, please tell her. She's the only one of my children who cares about the well-being of their mother. So yes, your mother does require surgery. We found that she has a nasty abscess in her mouth, probably due to never having her wisdom teeth removed. So we will be going in to clean that out, and then she will need to stay with us for a few days on for antibiotics. Okay, so her feeling like she can't breath is the abscess, right? Her chest is fine. Yes, for now. There is concern with the infection spreading if it is not treated properly. But as of right now, it is just the abscess. Thank God I raised you right, Rachel. You know to stay by your mother's side. How did the surgery go? 
It went wonderfully. We were able to clear the abscess, and I see no sign of complications after the course of four antibiotics. She should be back to normal in a few days. She will need to stay on top of her oral hygiene, though. I don't live with her, so I can't really make promises she will. But hopefully this was a wake-up call for her. She should wake up soon. You are more than welcome to stay with her, but if you are not staying the night, visiting hours end at 8 p.m. Okay, I'll wait for her to wake up before I leave, and I will come check on her tomorrow. Thank you so much, doctor. Of course, she will be in good hands here. You have nothing to worry about. Hey, mom, how are you feeling? The doctor said surgery went great, and you should be ready to go home in a few days. That's a stupid fucking question. How do you think I feel? I had emergency surgery and could have unalived. I feel terrible. Well, you sound like you are getting back to normal. The nurses should come around soon with some pain medicine for you to take the edge off. I have to head out in a little while, but I'll stop in tomorrow after work to check on you, okay? You can't leave me in here by myself. These people aren't going to look after me. They won't care enough to get me to the bathroom or take me outside to smoke. You really shouldn't be smoking right now anyways. They can give you the patch to help with the cravings until you are out of the hospital. Those patches are disgusting. I've been smoking since I was a teen, and I'm not stopping now. So you can either stay with me or I'll just check myself out of the hospital and go home to an alive all alone. Mom, seriously. It's just a few days. Exactly, it's just a few days. I know Sun is with Colton. So there's no reason you can't be a good daughter and stay with me. You are the only person I have left in the world, and you want to abandon me too. I might as well just end alive if that's the case. Just go. I see that nobody cares about me. Nobody needs me anymore. I can stay for one night. That's it, then I have to get the baby. So sorry I am such an inconvenience for you. It's only fair you help take care of me like